everybody, this is Liberty Ever123. And like I said on my channel, I do it as quick as I can, and here it is. The Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the Black Pearl. Alright, so first, as usual, I will first do the minifigures. Alright, first minifigure of all, the most famous, Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, there you go. You see, all the hair is all one piece. And. Oops, there you go. The compass. The infamous compass that allows him to see, allows him to direct anything to what he is liking the most. Next, the second most famous pirate in the deep blue sea, Davy Jones. Yeah. You can see his little. Uh, crab hand. Yeah, crab hand. And then his peg leg. Can't forget about the peg leg. Then we have Bootstrap Bill Turner. Yes, as you know, if you if all of you have watched Pirates of the Caribbean, this is Will's father. Very ironic that the end of uh, Fights of the Caribbean 3, if you haven't seen if you've seen it, they cut out Will's heart and make him the captain of the new Davy jo of the Davy Jones. Or of the uh Yep, Davy Jones. Yeah, and there's Will Turner with his sword and holster. Oops, sorry guys. Here you go. Will Turner. And then Marcus. The hammerhead shark pirate. He doesn't look too nice. He looks actually quite peeved. And there's that. Here's his little elbow decal. He's got a little crab sucking on his back. Not the greatest thing in the world, but what do you expect out of a dead shark guy? <laughs> then we have... Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs. Yep. There's not really much of an introduction for him. He's important. He's been in all four of the movies. But he hasn't really played a big role in the movies. Alright, we'll move we'll put the main figures aside and we'll move on to the big kahuna. The black pearl. Ugh, here we go. Let's stand this up. As you can see, if you've watched all Night Trials review, you can see everything. But here's a little update. Um, the sails do move in a direction of the turning. Note that this boat relies on wind, and not um, and not wind, um, water currents. Only by wind currents. You can see the little black maid right here, always on the pirate ship. These ones, the the um the third main one does turn, not the whole thing turns. The the stupid retarded Lego flag. The crow's nest and the last sail over here and the spinning wheel. Ahoy. Yeah, not really. And here are the cannons. Yep, there you go. Take a look at that. And now the biggest feature of all, the boat. And you can open up this side flap, and you can open up, if I move the ship like this, you'll be able to see both. Both the side flaps open up. And, ooh, I did not know that. There's a bottom flap that opens up here. And if our cameraman will be so thankful, we can get a helicopter view of the captain's quarters. This is where Jack Sparrow will lie to go for the map. See, there's a little X right there. There's a little bottle of rum for when he gets thirsty. A little telescope right there and a compass. And another bottle of rum. Man, he likes to drink. So let's close up all these flaps. Oh, oops. Almost broke it. Do not want to do that with this $100 Lego set. And let the record note that this is my first $100 Lego set. 
Yep. Alright, let's work on the instruction manuals. Yeah, it comes with two. Which is good. Yep. Kid screaming. I think because he sat on his Lego set. Okay. And then on the back, it shows the Queen Anne's Revenge. And let the record note that Night Shrouds also said that he um, put it in his video that he does not like the Queen Anne's Revenge as much as the Black Pearl. You Fountain wanna, of Youth. You want to go over all the sets. Yeah. The Fountain of Youth, which Lego Diver, um, not Lego Diver, Lego Boy 876 Yeah. Yay. The, I'm not sure what this one is. I think that's London Escape. Yeah, the London Escape. Then the uh, Castle Fortress, where it comes with the mermaids and everything. Then this is the Captain's Cabin. And then the famous scene from Pirates of the Caribbean 2, where they're all sword fighting in the uh, woodmill. Then the cannibals. Malicky lucky. Yeah. And then the the treasure with Elizabeth Swan in the first one, in the original. Yep. So let's move on to Oh, here is the big one. This is something that Night Shroud 99 mentioned in his uh, review, but did not put on the review. You can see the whole black seal. But, if you notice, they added one more minifigure to this. See right here in the corner? He's hiding. Right there. See Jack Sparrow right here fighting Navy, um, Davy Jones? Yep, Davy Jones. Bootstrap Bill is up there trying to throw a knife, knife up to Will Turner while Gibbs is trying to steal the ships, while Mac is just trying to kill Will Turner. Yeah, that's the greatest thing. Cannons are firing, the wheels are blazing, and everything's gonna get all crazy, and then they all end up drunk. Because they drink rum. And because they went partying. And let's go on to this. Here's the box. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean genre. And if you can see in the corner, poster, inside, Disney, Jack Sparrow, awesome. Ages, 9 to 16. Number 4184, the name of the set, the Black Pearl. Pieces 804, building toy. Marcus Gibbs, Jack Sparrow, Davy Jones, Will Turner, and Bootstrap Bill. Pure awesomeness. And then it says the same thing on the top right there. You can see right there. Anything on anything. And here we go on the back. You see right there. Try to make your own Lego scene. See right there. Remove the top of the thingy to reveal the captain's quarters. Up here in this corner. Very not hard to miss. Create your own adventures. Black Pro with the anchor. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention. There is an anchor for whatever reason, but okay. There is an anchor. So if the ship ever wants to stop sailing, there's the anchor. Yeah. Then everybody's on land. It looks like Bootstrap Bill's going to pull a gun on him. He's going to fight for a telescope with Jack Sparrow while Will Turner is going to go stick a sword up Davy Jones' butt. Yeah, not really. Well, that's the review for the Black Pearl. That's Lego Diver One Two Three's review of the Black Pearl. See you guys later. Rate the ratings. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot the ratings. Rating I on a hundred dollars. I'd say for on a on a scale of one to five, I'd say pretty works out pretty much. So I give that a four. Playability, I would give this a total five. You can use as much as your imagination you can on this ship. I mean. There's nothing really much to say for it that it's completely awesome. Um, scale, I'd say if it was a little bit bigger, I'd be happier. So I'll go with a three. Anything else? Uh, the minifigures, did you say? Minifigures, I'd say they are a five, too. These are completely new, too. So they came out this year, too. So, bam, awesomeness. Sprinkle. And overall? Overall setting, I'd give it a 4.5.
big fan, awesome stuff. This is Lego Diver123 saying goodbye. See ya.